This is question 92. Calculate a trade receivable turnover ratio in each of the following cases. Here, case 1 net credit sales rupees 4 lakh, average trade receivable 1 lakh. Here, trade receivables turnover ratio is equal to net credit sales upon average accounts receivable that is equal to rupees 4 lakh upon rupees 1 lakh is equal to 4 times. It is directly given hence 4 times. Then case 2, revenue from operations rupees 30 lakh is given, cash revenue from operations is given rupees 6 lakhs. Hence, credit revenue from operations will be rupees 24 lakhs, opening trade receivable rupees 2 lakh, closing trade receivable rupees 6 lakhs. Now, trade receivables turnover ratio is equal to net credit sales upon trade credit trade receivables turnover ratio is equal to net credit sales upon average accounts receivable. That is net revenue from operations minus cash revenue from operations will give rise to credit revenue from operations whole divided by opening trade receivables plus closing trade receivables by 2 that is equal to rupees 30 lakhs minus rupees 6 lakhs that is equal to rupees 2 lakhs plus rupees 6 lakhs whole divided by 2 that is equal to rupees 2 lakh 24 rupees here it is written that rupees 24 lakhs upon rupees 4 lakhs that is equal to 6 times we have to increase 110 just above the 6 time times in the second last step because by mistake 10 in numerator and denominator has been omitted it is 6 times is the answer in case 2 now case 3 Cost of revenue from operation or cost of goods sold is rupees 3 lakhs. Gross profit. Gross profit on cost is 25 percent. Cash sales 20 percent of a total sales. Opening trade receivables rupees 50,000. Closing trade receivables rupees 1 lakh. Case 3. Working notes. Total revenue from operations is equal to cost of goods sold plus gross profit. That is equal to cost of goods sold plus cost of goods sold multiplied by 25 percent. That is equal to rupees 3 lakh plus rupees 3 lakh into 25 percent. That is equal to rupees 3 lakh plus 75,000. That is equal to rupees three lakh seventy five thousand is total revenue from operations. Now, total revenue from operations is equal to cash revenue from operations plus credit revenue from operations. Implies that total revenue from operations is equal to this cash revenue from operations is twenty percent of a total revenue from operations. Hence, multiply that then plus credit revenue from operations implies that you have been given total revenue from operations rupees 3,75,000 is equal to cash sales is 20 percent of this hence 20 percent of rupees 3,75,000 plus credit revenue from operations. Now you can easily get credit revenue from operations that is credit revenue from operations is equal to rupees 3 lakh. Trade receivables turnover ratio is equal to net credit revenue from operations upon average trade receivables that is equal to net credit revenue from operations whole divided by opening trade receivables plus closing trade receivables whole divided by 2 that is equal to rupees 30 lakh divided by rupees 50,000 plus rupees 1 lakh whole divided by 2 that is equal to rupees 3 lakh divided by 75,000 that is equal to 4 times this is 4 times is the answer trade receivables turnover ratio. Next one is case 4 in this case cost of revenue from operations 
और कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोल्ड रुपीज फोर लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट एंड सेल्स ट्वेंटी परसेंट कैश सेल बींग कैश सेल्स बींग ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑन नेट क्रेडिट सेल्स ओपनिंग ट्रेड रिसीवेबल रुपीज नाइन्टी थाउजेंड क्लोजिंग ट्रेड रिसीवेबल रुपीज सिक्सटी थाउजेंड इज गिवेन नाउ टोटल सेल्स इज इक्वल टू कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोल्ड प्लस ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट एम्प्लाइज दैट टोटल सेल इज इक्वल टू कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोल्ड प्लस हियर ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑन सेल्स इज गिवेन नेक्स्ट वन इज लेट टोटल सेल्स बी एक्स बिकॉज वी हैव नॉट गिवेन द फिगर ऑफ टोटल सेल्स इट इज एक्स इज इक्वल टू रुपीज फोर लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड प्लस एक्स बाई फाइव एम्प्लाइज दैट एक्स माइनस एक्स बाई फाइव इज इक्वल टू रुपीज फोर लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड Implies that 5x minus x by 5 is equal to rupees 4 lakh 50 thousand. Implies that 4 by 5x is equal to rupees 4 lakh 50 thousand. Implies that x 4 4 by 5x is equal to rupees 4 lakh 50 thousand. That is equal to x is equal to rupees 4 lakh 50 thousand multiplied by reverse of 4 by 5. That is 5 by 4. Implies that total sales is equal to rupees five lakh sixty two thousand five hundred. This is total sales. Next is equal to total sales is equal to cash sales plus credit sales. Implies that total sales is equal to credit sales to twenty five percent is cash sales plus credit sale is itself credit sale. Now rupees five lakh fifty two thousand five hundred is equal to Y by four plus Y. Let Y be credit sales. Now, because it is written that cash sales is twenty five percent of credit sales. Hence, we took it Y and made it Y by four. Then rupees five lakh sixty two thousand five hundred is equal to five Y by four. Realize that Y is equal to rupees five lakh sixty two thousand five hundred multiplied by four by five. implies that net credit sales is equal to rupees 4 lakh 50000 now fair notes trade receivables turnover ratio is equal to net credit revenue from operations whole divided by average trade receivable that is equal to net credit revenue from operations whole divided by opening trade receivables plus closing trade receivables whole divided by 2 that is equal to Rupees four lakh fifty thousand upon rupees fifty thousand plus rupees one lakh whole divided by two. That is equal to rupees four lakh fifty thousand whole divided by seventy five thousand. Likewise, it is equal to six times, and this is the final answer.